Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Matt Anthony Field here in the nation's capital as we get ready for a women's rugby action as the University of Ottawa GGs host the Concordia Stingers. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today for this pre-Panda matchup. Uh, get you all warmed up for the Panda game later today. It'll be taking place at TD Place. My name is Tyler McDonald. Thank you for joining us here today as Concordia look to come in and take over the U Ottawa GGs as they are coming off a two Victories in a row, both against Sherbrooke, a 27-7 victory on September 19th and a 46-15 victory on the 26th, coming up with the Kellyanne Drummond Cup champions. The University of Ottawa GGs coming off two losses themselves against the University of Laval. One of them was at home here at Mount Anthony Field, a low-scoring 8-7 loss for the GGs, and the other one going at Laval last weekend, a 17-10 loss for the GG. So a very important game for vo for both of these teams as we are underway from the nation's capital. Play whistle down right away. We'll have our first scrum of the match. Concordia scrum here just along Midfield. Ball played in. Scrum was turning there, but it's taken out by Concordia. On it there now, Robinson. Robinson gets taken down. Concordia working out right in front of us here. Taking it there. Number 23, Halajan. Play whistle down, U-Auto trying to get the ball. Will cause a turnover here. And I believe we're gonna have a U-Auto scrum. Good aggressive defensive work there by the GGs early on in this matchup. And the referee just not liking the standard of that scrum. We'll regroup. Taylor Donato, the fifth year, to service the ball in. Ball played in. Pitched out there. By the GGs, Grant got it over that wide side. On it there is Bowie. Nice play by Concordia. They regroup and take possession of the ball themselves here at midfield. Eating up at the halfway line and play whistle down once more. Try another scrum, this time will be Concordia scrum just inside of the GGs half. Once again, try to reorganize this scrum before we take off. It's a big game for the GGs here after those two losses versus Laval of Barrio, a very tough opponent in the University of Laval, but it's for the GGs to have two losses on this season, not to the standard that uh, I know they would want to be at, but. Nothing like a home game to regroup and try and come out with a victory. The Stingers have had a very good last few games against Sherbrooke. Lots of scoring and offense for the Stingers. Has some great defense there by the GGs. Nice tackle there from Gallagher and Madison Grant. Pushing the Stingers back into their own half. The Stingers now will kick the ball forward and that will go up out of play a little too far as Jasmine Baxter was in a chase for the Stingers.
Ball serviced in by the GGs, taken down by Grant. Pitched out towards center, not finding a home as finally taking it down is Sarah White for the GGs and play whistle down once more. So another Concordia scrum and potential injured Stinger on the field after that collision. And we'll have an injury timeout. Can't see exactly which number it is down on the field right now, but we'll try to get that number to you as soon as we can. And hope for nothing serious here for the injured Stinger. As we take an injury timeout here. As we take uh, this, this quick injury timeout, we'd like to acknowledge the uh, tragic passing of Francis Perron, the GG's football player, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, our thoughts are with everyone affected with that tragedy uh, here at U Ottawa. Um, and we'll take this quick moment to give a quick moment of silence for Francis Perron and remember the legacy that he left by. Get back underway here at Mount Anthony Field as the Stingers put in the scrum. Service ball and it's pitched out. I believe that was Leon Duncan with the nice carry there, getting a lot of yardage. Gigi's trying to get aggressive here defensively. It's taken forward once again by the Stingers as they look to organize. Pitched out, Gallagher. She serves the ball over to that far side and working again it are the Stingers, but a nice tackle there coming from the GGs. As the Stingers looting yards here, losing yards, his last couple of possessions. Now the ball is dropped and picked up by the GGs with some room. Working in there is Grant. Grant gets taken down. Great tackle there coming from Emily McGee for the Stingers to save a try as she brought Grant down from behind. Now Grant once again makes a little sidestep move. Breaks through one tackle, breaks through another. Grant working her way forward. A nice couple of runs here coming from Madison Grant. Finally taken down inside of the Concordia 22. And I believe we're going to have an offside here against Concordia penalty. And let's see what the GGs do here. Are they going to go for the points or are they going to try and go for the full try? And they're going they're going to take a scrum. Don't blame that's a tough angle for a penalty kick to try and get the first points in this game. Nice crowd out here today at Mount Anthony Field, barring the uh, the rain we've had overnight and this morning. It rain has eased up as Grant pitches it out. That was Sarah White that got taken down. Now the ball once again gets worked forward by U Ottawa. And a little bit of concern as Grant was slow getting up. And Concordia take possession. Stuck deep inside their own territory. Play whistled down. And we're going to have another scrum here. 
just around the 18-yard box of the soccer lines that are down here at Mount Anthony Field. Just under 10 minutes gone in this matchup. 0-0 zero, zero between Concordia and Uauto. Uauto going right to left in those gray jerseys and shorts that they're wearing. Concordia in the red and gold jerseys going left to right on your screen. Messy scrum there as the ball came out. And we're going to redo this once more. Ball played out by Concordia. Trying to inch their way forward here is. The Gigi's doing a good job so far of not letting Concordia organize. And now finally the ball's kicked away by Concordia. That's going to get around to just before midfield. And Concordia to get possession. Great job, I believe. That was number 11, Jasmine Baxter, on the chase for Concordia. And she hustled her way down and retained possession for the Stingers. As another injury timeout, as I believe that's uh, Madison Grant down for the GGs. And hopefully nothing serious for Rusar. Get up very slowly after those few couple of hard runs that she had and one of the key players for the GGs would be a big loss if she was injured but hopefully nothing serious for Madison Grant. And she'll go off a substitution coming on for Grant. And we'll have a uh, Concordia line out here, I believe. Oh, pardon me, it's a Gigi's line out. Ball serviced in, and Concordia gets possession of it. I believe that was Bloomer knocking it down and now a penalty against Concordia and Gigi's will retake possession. And once again, they'll settle for the scrum. Ball serviced in there by the GGs. Donato pitches it out toward center field. It's bobbled there, but recovered. On up there now is Kamba. Great run by her. Donato now pitches it out. On up there. It's Claire Gallagher. Gallagher turns the corner. Gallagher makes a couple tacklers miss. Great run there by Claire Gallagher. Finally taken down. Pitched out. Camba has it once again. Camba trying to work her way forward. Camba in for the try for the GGs. 
kept moving her legs and forced her way in. And the first points of this matchup come just under 13 minutes into the match. It's 5 nothing GG's. Great angle here for the convert kick. I believe it's Claire Gallagher who is lining up. Kick is up and through for the convert, 7 0 Gigi's lead. Say Gigi's, Comte Pound, numéro 5. Gigi's try her first of the season, scored by number 5, Ketsia Kamba. Confirmation Ketsia Kamba with Claire Gallagher Comber is good. The try for, for the Gigi's. Concordia nil in the 14th minute of play. Kickoff by Concordia, it's taken down by the Gigi's. Gallagher, good return. She gets taken down, Donato now pitches it out to this near side. Good hard tackling there from the Stingers and penalty, high tackle called against Concordia. Ball kick forward and it's going to come out just inside, about 10 yards inside of Concordia territory. Line out here for you, Ottawa. Cameron Holland. Sends the ball in, taken down, and pitched out to Ondo. Ondo, with some speed, big through a couple tacklers, but all oh, play whistle down. Ondo could have been out on a break there, but it's going to be Concordia ball. Great kick there from Concordia, and ball will dribble all the way down. Now we'll kick back the other way. Bayou Ottawa, nice catch there from the Stingers. That was number 21. Robinson, Robinson gets the ball forward, sends it all the way back inside of U Ottawa territory. Donato in a chase and she'll recover and just set down as it was a dangerous looking kick from the Stingers to try and get great field position inside of U Ottawa territory. Stingers have a big job here now, a good opportunity to try and hold the GGs as deep as they can inside of their own zone. All kicked away. Covered there by Baxter. Baxter makes a couple moves. Pitched out toward center field. Big hit coming there by the GGs. Stuffed before the 22. Back out, that's Emma Gallagher for the Stingers. Gallagher once again pitches it out. It's number 12, Leon Duncan. Out to Robinson. Robinson gets it over to Collagen. Back now to Gallagher.
Bobbled and dropped there by Concordia. But high tackle penalty called against you, Ottawa. Ball kicked out, we'll have a Concordia line out here, D inside of the U Ottawa 22, just inside. Ball played in. On it there is O'Leary. O'Leary taken down by three GGs. Now pitched back out to Gallagher. Gallagher kicks it forward, trying to find a hole. The ball will be picked up by Ottawa. Gonna have a Concordia scrub coming up. Ball played out. Big tackle there from Taylor Donato. Working on that far side, Concordia. Another good stuff by the U Ottawa defense. Now pitched out toward midfield. Gallagher. Try to pitch it out, drop there by Duncan. Recovers. Played out, Collagen. She's taken down, now ball by Concordia, picked up though there by Grace Gunn. Gunn's taken down as Concordia are losing yards on these last few plays. We'll kick it in deep and that will fall into the touchline and out of play. So we'll come all the way back out to the 22 of U Ottawa. Halfway through this first half, 7 nothing U Ottawa leading Concordia. Thank you for joining us here as the rain has eased up at Mount Anthony Field. Although lots of cloud coverage still, uh, you can call it a gloomy Saturday depending on your outlook. Kick recovered there by Robinson and play was whistled down by the referee and I think we'll redo this kick here. Very high standards from this referee today, making sure everyone is in line and following proper, proper rules. Now you auto with some room. Concordia coming in to chase and some good tackles there. A nice tackle from Leanne Duncan who Wrapped up the legs of the GG's ball carrier. Now, oh, nice work there by Emma Gal. Oh, pardon me, that's uh, 
Claire Gallagher. Both Gallagher's tens on each side. Uh, Gallagher for U Ottawa and uh, Claire Gallagher for U Ottawa wearing number 10 and Sarah Gallagher for Concordia wearing number 10. So Concordia scrum, just inside of the U Auto half. Ball played in, good push here from the GGs. Good second phase by the Stingers, pitched out to Gallagher. Over on that far side. Robinson for the Stingers. You ought to bring some players in tight as Concordia just playing a little bit of a small ball, you could say. Uh, getting a few yards, now pitching out back toward the middle of the field. On it there is Duncan. Duncan taken down and play whistled down. Penalty against you ought to, I believe. No, no, I, I am incorrect. It's going to be you ought to scrum. May have been a knock on there for Concordia. Ball played in by Donato. And I believe penalty for coming in through the scrum. And not happy with that call is Roxanne Galano. And she has a couple of words for the referee, a discussion on why that was called out and you ought to take it in. Try to gain some yardage on this offensive possession. Picked and played quick over to that far side. Madison Grant with it. Another good run by her. And whistled down once more. Concordia will take possession as you Ottawa called on the penalty. Kick toward the U Ottawa bench, and that will go out just inside of the U Ottawa half. To remind everyone that wearing masks is mandatory at all GG's home games, including those at Matt Anthony Field, for all fans over the age of two. Nous souhaitons rappeler que le port du masque est obligatoire pour tous les partisans de deux ans et plus. Concordia line out taken down. Pitched out, dropped. As Concordia sent reeling here, good pressure from U Ottawa, and they'll just settle for kicking the ball back inside of the GG's territory. Picked up by Bowie. Kicked right in front of us here and out of play. Concordia line out as Bloomer will be servicing the ball in. A couple of substitutions possibly made here for the GGs. And yeah, going off will be Cameron Holland for the GGs, and we'll see who's coming on here. Fan favorite, whoever is coming on. Ball played in. 
Concordia take it, and coming on it can confirm is Anna Dodge for U Ottawa. Pitched out for Gallagher for Concordia. Now some good yardage there coming from Maxine O'Leary. Run forward to about the halfway line. And also down once more. It's gonna be a U Auto scrum just inside of the Concordia half. Ball played out to the middle of the field here. Kicked forward. Troubling ball here. It's going to fall three. Gigi's in a chase, but great scoop by Robinson for the Stingers. She was under a lot of pressure there, but got possession as three Gigi's were chasing her down. Gallon, no. Kick is short. Hits onto right on the noggin and We'll go out of play. So you auto scrum here right at the 22. Ball serviced in. Pitched out toward Gallagher. Gallagher to Ondo. Ondo tries to turn the corner. Taken down by Concordia. Now Grant taken down. And that's got to be offside against Concordia. Yeah, 100%. Well, decision here for the GGs. Do they take the points and go for the kick, or are they going to take the scrum? I believe they're going to take the scrum. Let's go Substitutions made by Uato here. Coming off is Huff and Coming on will be Taylor Hendrick, I believe. Donato. Pitched out. Picked up there by Sarah White. Play whistle down. It's going to be Concordia Scrub here. Ball played in by Concordia. We're under 10 minutes left here in this first half. Nice push from you, Ottawa. As the scrum breaks down, plays whistle down, and yet scrum collapse, play whistle down. 
And you Ottawa will now be in favor of this call. And they'll take their own scrum. Ball played in, pitched out toward Gallagher. Gallagher taken down. Yuano still with possession, Ondo with it. Ondo trying to break a few tackles. Ondo with a great run here. Ondo, can't she keep going? Ondo move their legs in for the try, what a run by Ondo. In for the try for Yuano. And it's 12 nothing for the GGs. Alexandra Ondo with a beautiful, beautiful run for the GGs. And they'll extend their lead. Second try of the game for the GGs. Great angle here for Claire Gallagher on the convert as well. Gallagher kick is up and right down the middle. Kick is good. Convert attempt. She's two for two on the day for those. 14 nothing for the GGs. For 11, Alexandra Ondo. The Claire Gallagher convert is good, making the score Ottawa 14, Concordia nil in the 35th minute of play. Kick off by the Stingers, just about five minutes left in this first half, as you just heard. Fourteen nothing, the GGs lead the Stingers. All played in by Concordia on the scrum. Pitched out toward. Army, that was uh, Leon Duncan with the run there for the Stingers. Now Gallagher tries to pitch it out, but surrounded by Gigi's defenders, will just hold on to it and go to ground. Collagen now. Bloomer. Working hard to try and cause a turnover there was Boar's Boom. And the scrum completely collapses there. Definitely have to restack and retry this one. Gonna blame wet turf on that one. And injured Gigi down on the field.
Anna dodges the one down, clutching her neck, which is never a good sign. So hopefully it's nothing serious for Anna Dodge. like she'll be all right and continue this game, which is what we want to see, and glad it's nothing serious for Anna Dodge. So Concordia scrum inside of U-Auto territory. Try this once more. Ball played, taken out and dropped. Ondo, on it for U-Auto, will take possession. Turnover by the Stingers. Pitched out and dropped this. Turf is still wet, wet ball, and we're seeing a lot of drop balls on both sides this morning. Ball played in, good pu push from Uauto and Donato will take possession. Uauto trying to work their way forward late in this first half. Donato kicks the ball over to that far side of the field. It's recovered by the Stingers. On it there was Baxter. In toward the final minute or so of this first half as play is whistled down. Knock on. Called against the Stingers. Might be one final series here in this First half. Ball play forward out of play. As uh, getting taken down there was you Ottawa, and I believe that's going to be halftime. At the end of the lap, of Denis, at the end of the first half, the score is University of Ottawa GG's 14, Concordia Stingers, nil. So halftime here at Mount Anthony Field. We'll take a break for halftime. 14 to nothing, the GG's leading the Stingers. You're watching women's rugby here from the University of Ottawa.
Welcome back to Matt Anthony Field here at the University of Ottawa in the nation's capital. The University of Ottawa GGs taking on the Concordia Stingers in women's rugby action. My name is Tyler McDonald. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning, now turning into the afternoon in a few short minutes. Get you through a first half scoring summary. University of Ottawa with all the scoring in that first half. Ketsia Kamba with the first try of the game, her first try of the season. Convert was good by Claire Gallagher, and then Alexandra Ondo with a beautiful run to get the second try of the game, and Gallagher was good from the Convert. Again, two for two for Gallagher for the Convert, and that's where we stand, 14-0 for the GGs as they take possession to start off this second half. They kick it into Concordia territory, and that will go out of play. Couple substitutions made for the GGs. Looks like Montiel is in. Abdullah is in. Talia Hennessy is also in for the GGs. And now it's picked up by Donato. Anna Dodge now works her way forward. Donato flips it out back toward the center of the field. Gallagher sends it over that wide side. Out right, there was Montiel. Now the GGs work along that far side. Up over Concordia half. Set back toward the middle of the field. Great run there. I believe that was Montiel. Now Ondo. Ondo breaks a couple tackles. Ondo. Another great run by her. Gallagher. She gets taken down. Pitched out to Montiel. Donato, back over that far side. Now Boersboom gets through. Boersboom with through a couple of tackles and in for the try. Boersboom with a quick try to start the second half. 19-0 for the GGs. What a great run there by Boersboom to Go right up the middle of the field, break a couple tackles, and make it in for the try. Now it'll be Gallagher two for two on conference already today. Looking to go three for three here, and again, great angle for her. Gallagher's kick is up and through the uprights, good. 21 0 lead now for the GGs. GGs, Fonte Valve, numéro 7. GGs try her second of the season, scored by number 7, Tylo Borsboom. The Claire Gallagher convert is good, making the score Ottawa 21, Concordia 0 in the 44th minute of play. Kickoff by Concordia, it's taken down there by Kamba. Kamba, she's been great so far today with her runs. Back over on that wide side. 
was Boar's Room once again. Scrum gets turned there. I think we'll have to try and redo this. So Concordia Scrum is just inside of Uauto territory. And whistle down one more time. Well, Concordia in the <laughs> yellow and red jerseys. Going right to left on your screen. GG's in those all gray uniforms. They'll be going left to right on your screen in this second half. Picked up here by Concordia and kicked forward deep inside of Yuara territory. On it there is Brow uh, pardon me, Bowie. Bowie taken down. Uh, pardon me, Bowie. I apologize for the mispronunciation of that. Now going forward is you, Ottawa. Donato pitches it out to Gallagher. Gallagher with some room. Gallagher gets taken down there last moment. Nice tackle by Concordia, but Ottawa going forward once again and play whistle down. Call against Ottawa and Concordia will try to get out of their own zone as far as they can. That ball is going to go out right at the uh, we would like to remind everyone that wearing masks just outside of the 22. Games including those at Matt Anthony Field, for all fans over the age of two. Ne souhaitons rappeler que le port du masque est obligatoire pour tous les partisans de deux ans et plus. Once again, the line-out uh, not being lined up properly for the referee. Try this again. Yoado gets a hand on it, but Concordia retained possession. Knock on called. Ball serviced in by Concordia. Scrum turning heavily there and play whistle down. Uauto will take possession. And I believe Gallagher is going to go for the kick here. Claire Gallagher looking, she's been 
perfect on converts so far. This one's going to be It's going to be 30 yards on the nose for going uh, football yardage. Gallagher. Steps up, kick is up. It's up, it's trailing in and good! What a kick from Claire Gallagher. Left footed drive. 24, nothing for the GGs. Claire Gallagher is a C. The Claire Gallagher penalty kick is good, making the score Ottawa 24, Concordia nil in the 51st minute of play. Claire Gallagher on fire with that left foot today, and she's on the ball once more. Gallagher with a great run. Gallagher breaks a couple tackles. Here goes Claire Gallagher. She kicks it forward in a chase. Possession picked up by Concordia. Deep inside their own territory. Lupien on it. Ball touched at the try line for Concordia. So you ought was going to get. I believe they're going to have a scrum just about seven or so yards away. Again, the referee, a scrum not up to his standards. We'll reset. Crumb played in, good push here coming from the GGs. Ball's played out. Being pushed forward and now finally whistled down. Concordia. I can't see what exactly the referee's signal was for that call, but I believe we're going to have a scrum once more. And it's going to be Concordia scrum. Nice push once again from Yoda. Pitched out and kicked forward by Concordia to relieve a little bit of pressure out of play inside of the 22. So a line out here for the GGs. Ball retrieved and being pushed forward. Ball played out and taken down are the GGs. Now Donato will pitch it out.
Sent over there. On it for a moment was Sarah White. Now over to Gallagher. Gallagher kicks it forward, tries to play a little cheeky through ball there. Nifty little play, but a penalty called for closing the scrum. And now right away, here comes Concordia. Nice little run, taking their opportunity, and finally taken down as a great run coming there from number 21. Robinson for the Stingers. Very smart play to take the quick kick. Saw her opportunity and caught you Ottawa sleeping. Injury timeout now as Anna Dodge is down for the GGs. Substitutions being made. Canva is going to come off and see if I can get a number on who's coming on for the GGs. Anna Dodge looks like she'll be all right to continue. And I believe coming on there is Isabella Rush. Twenty-four nothing. The GGs lead. About fifteen minutes in to the second half. So you auto scrum inside of Concordia territory. Ball played out, fumbled around, Donato will recover. Kicked out to White. Awando. Borsboom. Borsboom once again with a good run. Donato back to Ondo. Ondo tries to evade a couple tackles. Taken down hard there. Great tackle from the Stingers. Apparently called against Concordia. Gallagher kicks this deep inside of Concordia territory. I believe we're gonna have a couple of substitutions come on here for the Stingers. Ball played in, working right forward and on through for the try of the GGs. On it there. Meredith Sirs, number three for the GGs, gets in on the try. Nice run by Sirs. Claire Gallagher will be in for the convert. Once again, a, another good angle for her. She's two for two on converts and one for one on penalty kicks. Perfect on the day. Gallagher, kick is up. 
Kick is good. Convert once again. Good for Gallagher. That left foot on fire today. SADGG's Conte Pau, number three. Gigi's try, her second of the season, scored by number three, Meredith Sirs. The Claire Gallagher convert is once again good, making the score Ottawa 31, Concordia nil in the 59th minute of play. Thirty-one nothing now. The GGs lead a wholesale of changes. Three substitutions coming on for the GGs. We'll try to get numbers as soon as we can. Kickoff by Concordia. Gallagher will boot it forward, and she'll be in to chase as well. It's picked up there. By Concordia, and they'll send it right back. Ondo on it for the Gigi. Stumbles, but has some room. Makes a couple of moves. Ondo in through the middle. Breaks a couple tackles. Ondo once again with another great run. Pitch out to Gallagher. She'll send it deep inside of Concordia territory. In a chase. And on it with some room is Bowie. Bowie almost got to it first, but Concordia will fall onto the ball just in front of their try line. Now ball goes over, and try not given. I didn't even hear a play a whistle there, but I believe we have a knock on called. Concordia scrum, ball sent in, good push there coming from the GGs and whistled down as the scrum collapsed. Penalty against you, Ottawa. That kick is up out of play and into the stands at Man Anthony Field. Line out here for Concordia. Ball goes sailing over everyone and Concordia will take possession. Played out and kicked forward by Gallagher for the Stingers. And that will go out of play. Kayla Sweeting in to service the ball in for the GGs. It's taken down and pitched out to Ondo. Ondo gets it out to Gallagher. Dodge. Montiel. Ford, big tackle there from Emma Gallagher for the Stingers. And play whistle down. Ball kick forward and at a play just outside of U Ottawa's 22.
Line out, serviced in, taken down by Concordia. Tackled there was Grace Gunn. Now forward by Collagen. Concordia will pitch it out. Gallagher dropped there. Ondo picks it up for you, Ottawa. Alexandra Ondo dragged down. Pitched out and kicked away by you, Ottawa. And up out of play. Cordia kicks the ball forward. It gets about to midfield and hops out of play itself. We'll have another line out. A couple substitutions being made for Concordia. Ball played, you Ottawa get possession out of that line out. You Ottawa inching their way forward, now will be pitched out on it there. Sarah White taken down, play whistled. Call against you, Ottawa. Ball sent out to play just in front of the Concordia bench. Great kick there. Lots of yardage. Robinson with the kick for Concordia. All played in by Concordia, taken down. You ought to push Concordia back on it. Now is Gallagher. Gallagher pitches it out. Futrell for the Stingers. Now Collagen. Collagen taken down. Ball dropped, picked up by you, Ottawa. I have to say the story for the Stingers has been those turnovers and drop balls. Once they start getting some momentum on their way, a drop ball, and now going on that far side is Uwata. Borsboom makes a couple of moves. Borsboom pitches it out. And play whistle down. Another great run by Tylo Borsboom. Concordia scrum, ball sent in, a good push from you, Ottawa. Ball's played out and freed up. And on possession is Borsboom, Borsboom gets possession, goes for a run, Borsboom in for the try. What a run by Tylo Borsboom. 
Her second try of the game. And it's 36 nothing for the GGs. I don't know where that turnover for the GGs. Borsboom picked it up and had a lot of field in front of her. And in for her second try of the game, a wonderful play by Borsboom. And Gallagher will have maybe her toughest convert of the day so far. A longer, tougher angle here. She's three for three on converts and one for one on a penalty kick so far today. Gallagher's kick is up and that is wide, no good, her first miss of the match. So, GG's, son deuxième du match, compte par numéro 7. Gigi's try, her second of the game, scored by number seven, Tylo Borsboom. The score is now Ottawa 36, Concordia nil in the 70th minute of play. So 36 nothing, the Gigi's lead, and they take the kickoff here. Play whistle down on a knock on against the Gigi's, and Concordia will take control of this scrum. Ball played out by Concordia toward the middle of field. Pitched out, Gallagher sends a kick forward. Recovered by U Ottawa. On it there was a Bowie for the GGs. Ball kicked away by Gallagher toward midfield. Recovered by Robinson for Concordia. Robinson with a great run. Evades a couple tackles. Concordia trying to work their way forward. Being pushed back though, big tackle. Play whistle down. Penalty against Concordia. Gallagher kicks the ball into Concordia territory and we'll have a line out to just outside of the 22. Less than eight minutes left in this match. 36 nothing. the GGs leading the Stingers here at Matt Anthony Field. Line up recovered by the GGs. On it there, working her way forward. Great run coming from the GGs. And a dodge. In for the try. Beautiful run by Anna Dodge. And it's 41 to nothing for the hosts.
Anna Dodge turning on the Jets there to get her first try of the match. Gallagher with a, another convert attempt here. Three for four on the day. Plus a penalty kick that was good. Gallagher's kick is up and it is good. Claire Gallagher makes it 43 nothing for the GGs. Gigi's try, her second of the season, scored by number 18, Anna Dodge. The Claire Gallagher convert is good, making the score Ottawa 43, Concordia nil in the 75th minute of play. About five minutes remaining here in the second half. 43-0, the Gigi's leading the Stingers. Robinson kicks that ball away. Recovered there by Boersboom. Boersboom is taken down. Pitched out. Gigi's in possession here. Oh, stiff arm. What a stiff arm there. I believe that was Montiel. And a dodge now working her way forward. Pick forward by Gallagher, in on it, and not getting a hand on it is Bowie. Referee's having a little conference here. The line judge saw something that the head referee didn't, and we're going to have a little discussion. So there was a penalty against Concordia. Claire Gallagher was held on her chase toward the ball. And Gallagher now kicked this out. And a good kick inside of the 22. Ball played in, taken down by U Ottawa. Latramoy got it over there to Sarah White. Pitched out to Gallagher. She kicks the ball forward in the chase is U Ottawa. And picked up by Ondo. Alexandra Ondo in for the try for the GGs. 48 0 for the Garnet and Gray.
Gallagher lining up for another convert. Four for five on the day for converts. And a penalty kick. This convert attempt is up and good once again. Claire Gallagher, five converts on the day plus a penalty kick. GG's numéro 11. Gigi's try, her second of the game, scored by number 11, Alexandra Ondo. The Claire Gallagher convert is good, making me score Ottawa 50, Concordia nil in the 79th minute of play. So 50 to nothing, Ondo with her second try of the game, and we're in the last minute here of today's match. Ball picked up there by Sarah White. She's taken down, pitched out. Montiel, she had an amazing stiff arm earlier. Montiel works her way forward. Pitched out, Gallagher will kick the ball forward. Picked up by Robinson for the Stingers. She kicks the ball forward and she's gonna go into chase. Ondo will try to recover for the GGs as the, as the ball keeps trickling down inside her own territory. And nice tackle there by Robinson for the Stingers. The deepest the Stingers have been inside of Yotta territory in a while, but Yotta will now try and take the ball and relieve a little bit of pressure. Forsboom taken down on that far side. Gallagher now kicks the ball forward. Retrieved by the other Gallagher on Concordia. Now on it there for you, Ottawa. Abdullah. Bowie taken down. Montiel taken down, play whistle down, knock on called against the GGs. And that will do it for today's game. An impressive performance from the Ottawa GGs. They needed this win after two losses to Laval and they came out strong. The Stingers had their chances to work hard. They had a good few offensive drives but couldn't get a full series going. Thank you for coming out to today's game. You've been so the GGs will crowd. finish off. The GGs will close out the season two tries for Boersboom. Two tries for Alexander Ondo. Other tries going to Anna Dodge. No Meredith Sears. With the players, and Ketsia Kamba. Convert five for six. At the end of the game. And that both teams go Clara Gallagher was good on the day, plus she had a penalty kick, and those yeah, are your scoring summary to make it to a 50 to nothing final for the GGs. We thank you very much for tuning in here from Mount Anthony Field. My name is Tyler McDonald. We appreciate you joining us here on this Saturday afternoon from the nation's capital. We'll see you next time.